superior end, this is up by your shoulder, inferior end, this is down by your elbow. When we look at the superior end here, you'll see a pretty easily recognizable structure. This is what we call the head of the humerus. You've heard of a ball and socket joint before. Well, this is the ball. If I take a scapula, you'll remember the glenoid cavity. That's going to sit right in here. That's your ball and socket joint. That's your shoulder joint. From the head of the humerus, we then have the anatomical neck. Anatomical neck. And that leads into these two recognizable bumps right here. Okay, so this big one is what we call the greater tubercle. The smaller one, obviously, lesser tubercle. Greater tubercle, lesser tubercle. And running right in between the tubercles is something called the intertubricular groove. Intertubricular groove. Sometimes it's called the bicipital groove. Bicipital groove or intertubricular groove. From there, we go down the diaphysis. The diaphysis is the shaft of the bone itself. And about halfway down, you'll see a bump right here. That bump is your deltoid tuberosity. Deltoid tuberosity. When you raise your arms out to the side laterally, uh, like you're reaching for something out to the side, you're using your deltoid muscle. Your deltoid muscle is the muscle of your shoulder that's gonna attach right here. As we go further down to the inferior end, uh, we come across something called the condyle. So the condyle are these smooth structures right here. Let me come back to these in one second. If this is the condyle, then this is an epicondyle upon the condyle. Here's another epicondyle upon the condyle. So this is what we refer to as the lateral condyle. This here is the medial condyle. Some people call this one the funny bone. If you extend your arm out straight in front of you and you palpate the medial side of your elbow, you'll feel that, that, that one stick out pretty well. If we look at the condyles themselves, we have this smooth structure right here. This is called the trochlea. And we also have this second smooth structure right here. We call this the capitulum. So the trochlea and the capitulum. The capitulum sits laterally. The trochlea sits medially. Here's your medial epicondyle. Here's your lateral epicondyle. And this little indentation right there is called the coronoid fossa. The coronoid fossa. This is all structures that we see on the anterior view of the humerus. On the posterior view, if we turn it around this way, you'll still see that deltoid tuberosity. But when we come here on the bottom, again, towards your elbow, you'll see a little bit of that trochlea. You won't see as much of the capitulum. I'm pointing at it on the other side here. But you will see medial condyle, lateral condyle, and something called the olecranon fossa. That's this big indentation right here, the olecranon fossa.